once upon a time, when animals still had the ability to speak, a huge buffalo was living on the shepherd's farm. The buffalo was helping the shepherd in the field work, and the shepherd was doing his best to make him happy. One day, the shepherd, who was taking the buffalo to graze, sat under an apple tree to get some rest. At that moment, a hungry, cunning wolf sneaked up and followed them. Mmm, that buffalo would be a great lunch for me. <laughs> but I need to get rid of that human. The wolf suddenly appeared before the buffalo and the shepherd. I have a few questions for you. If you can't answer, the buffalo is mine. The shepherd and the buffalo were very curious about what the cunning wolf would ask. Why does a buffalo serve a human when he has such powerful horns, huh? Well, because I plow the shepherd's field, and he feeds me the best food. Hmm, well, how can a shepherd make this huge buffalo serve him? Is that a magic cane in your hand? No, it's not the cane that's magical, it's our wisdom. The wolf did not understand what the shepherd meant. Your wisdom? What's that? That's not an answer. Now I can take this buffalo home if I want. But I'm very curious about this thing called wisdom, too. It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. What's that condition? Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom that he even agreed to be tied to a tree. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom, the buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. <laughs> Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. After a while, the shepherd came out with a big box in his hand. He opened the lid of the box, but the wolf saw that the box was empty. Well, wisdom, where is it? Did you bring it? It's inside, right there in the corner. If you don't see it, let me untie you so you can take a closer look. As soon as the wolf got into the box to see the wisdom, the shepherd closed the lid on him. Help! Help! Wisdom is too precious to fit in a box, dear wolf. Wisdom is in the mind, and you can only find it by searching for it like hidden treasure. I promise I will never underestimate the minds of others again. Now I will be more generous and smarter. Please, get me out of here. The wolf remained in the box for a whole day. The next morning, the shepherd and buffalo saw the wolf learned a good lesson and took him out of the box. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From that day on, the wolf got along better with other animals in the forest and respected everyone's mind, from flying birds to tiny insects. Mm -hmm.